Hey guys, today we're doing an unboxing of the new Aperture C300D Mark II. I'm your host, Zat Dude. All right, first things first. This is the hefty packaging. Thing is humongous. It's pretty darn heavy too. It's not light. Uh, as you can see, it's shipped with Aperture shamelessly tattooed all around the box. This is funny actually, right here. Even their tape has Aperture branding. That's, that's pretty wild. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm actually really excited because I've been wanting to get the 300D Mark I for a while. Then I realized, you know what? That was interesting. I'm gonna hold off on it because the Mark II might come out. And when the Mark II comes out, that's when I'm gonna buy it. Lo and behold, the Mark II came out and I bought it. Whew. All right. So right when you open the box, you're going to find a beautiful bag just greeting you right there. So let's see if we can do this in one take. Ah! As you can see the front, aperture right there, the bottom. This is that slash proof material they've been talking about. Feels pretty nice. It's like the, uh, it's all like leather actually. I'm not even gonna try to slash it. I'm just gonna let it naturally just get cut up from everyday use. I don't abuse gear, I just let it happen. That was bad. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna undo this right here. Here's a nice little strap it comes with. Put that to the side. And here we go, we're gonna unzip this real quick. Oh, oh. Anyway, got rid of that lock. Ooh, super easy zipper. I like that, nice touch aperture. And here we go, I'm gonna open it. You guys get to see us first. Hoo-wee! All right, that's what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at what we have inside the bag. First off, we're gonna go with the anti-climatic stuff first. So in the box, in the top flat, we have what appears to be pills, just kidding. A knob. All right, I've never opened this, I'm not sponsored, so don't judge me. Um, judge me, I don't care actually. Uh, we have the remote, pretty standard, even with the previous model. We have a nice packet of silica gel for whenever you get too thirsty. And we have a red knob, whatever that goes, okay. Other side packaging, right here. What we have are stickers. Okay, uh, there might be something I'm missing here. Kind of dope, but, hmm, where do I put this? This is funny because, <laughs> okay, it's an Aperture in Chinese, RA, ALAV, transparent and white, Aperture logo, Aperture logo, light storm, Amaran. I don't even think, this is not even an Amaran, why does it? Yeah, it's not even an Amaran, why does it even have, okay. Thank you for the stickers. I don't know what I'll be doing with them, but I'll find something. We have a reflecting dome. Ooh, this is actually really nice. It has a lot of interesting little, little reflectors shaped to scatter light. Pretty cool. Next up, we have cable. Yes, we have our USAC cable. There we go, beautiful. Oh, this is a new power brick control box, whatever you want to call it, that comes with the 300D Mark II. Um, Built-in antenna to make it less destructible. Uh, all the ports are down here at the bottom for the inputs. The output, of course, is on top. Cool paracord lanyard sling. Uh, haven't seen anyone else do that before, but you know what? That's pretty darn dope. I appreciate that. We have more cable. This is the male to female five pin XLR that Aperture's been talking about. They made this to standardize everything, make it so much easier when it comes to extending your cable. The quick release bracket. Okay, I don't even know how this works. So this essentially, it's a super clamp from what it looks like. Ooh, super smooth. Okay, it's not a super clamp because it moves up and down. Okay, okay. And, all right, I don't, <laughs> 
first time doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's see if it's that intuitive. Ready? Oh my gosh. That's it. <laughs> Literally first time doing that. I didn't even know what I'm doing. To unlock it, I think you take this right here. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Okay, and last but not the least, we have, without any further hesitation, the 300D Mark II. Ooh. This is, oh my gosh, I appreciate this design. They talked about this in NAB, but this is the thing where, it can just swivel around non-stop. So you can just mount it in whatever. You wanna just have it underslung? Sure. You wanna have it regular slung? Why not? You wanna have it facing up? They got you covered! Look at that. That's so nice. And oh my gosh, this A-Team red looks really nice. Cause originally it looked like it was like flat red, but it's actually metallic red if you can see some of that shine. That's super neat. Now, Unboxings are great and all, but what use is it if I don't even throw it on, right? So, let's do that real quick. I have the light dome too, but it's packed away right now for getting ready for my flight to the Philippines. So, we're just gonna go out of the box. Click this puppy in, chick. <laughs> that is so, that's so satisfying. Ah, DM exports. That's dope. All right. Right away, this is so much easier than setting up the first generation 300D because there's only one wire in, one wire out. The other one had like 50 cables I had to wrestle around with. Not only that, but the rental company even had like extended cables. So I was like, okay, I have a four pin, a five pin, a thing that plugs into the box, a thing that plugs into the battery thing. It's all it's all together now. So that's actually super exciting right off the bat. Way quicker setup time for this right here. All it takes is bam, and then bam. That's it. All right, and holy <laughs> That is ridiculously bright. That's 100% right now. Whoa. This thing is a game changer. It's bright, it's crazy. Look at that, just straight out the chip. This thing, my goodness, it's crazy. Like, wow. And the light isn't even extremely harsh. See, this is funny because it's in faulty bulb mode, so I'm thinking like, okay, maybe my light's broken. That's how you know it's working because I didn't even notice in faulty bulb mode. This is actually one of my favorite modes. This is TV mode, so it looks like you're watching TV. We have a rave party. I, I just love Billie Eilish. Just pulsing, stroke, explosion. That's wild. That's cool. This is pretty good white light. There's not much green tint to it, like I noticed with the older generation to C300D Mark I. Um, it's really nice and white. Comparing this to my other lights I have above and to the sides, this is definitely more pure. My other lights are giving me more of a magenta tint, but this is definitely way more accurate. Well, that's that. Thank you for watching today's review. Links to our affiliates down below. Just kidding, because I'm not yet sponsored. This is my first actual video, so don't judge me, because I did this all by myself. All by myself. And that's it. That's all for today's unboxing. Thanks for watching. I'm Zat Dudes, aka Steve. Have a great day.